So we're going to be doing some Philly cheese steak. Uh, I have my peppers here, my onion here, and my steak stuff is over there. So let's get started. We're going to do some cutting and see in fast motion. So let's go. cheesesteak. <laughs> uh, found out I have no uh, yellow American cheese, so I will have to use some mozzarella. That's what I'll be doing. The flame went uh, pretty crazy, almost like filling me up. <coughs> Why isn't this pan like Nicely covered with uh, beautiful stuff called oil. So I just gotta wait for the oil to get a little bit hot. And then I'm gonna throw the onions into there and just let them sit for a while and they'll turn nice golden brown. So I'll get my onions. Shoot. Dropped a little. That sucks. Oh well. Let it sit and uh, stir it once in a while until they turn brown. So, yeah. Okay, so that was all the uh, onions all done. Okay, back a couple times, get the onions off the spoon. All right, all done. And now we are gonna do some peppers because that's what you put in a Philly cheesesteak. You put onions, peppers, cheese, and steak or steak umps, what are you gonna call them? So turn back on my flame. My pan's still pretty hot. I'm gonna add just a little bit of oil, just so uh, I have enough oil. Just move that around a little. I saw a little bit of uh, onion still left in the pot from when I was taking them out, but those won't really affect anything. So, uh, yeah, it's 
cook some peppers. That's the beautiful noise I like to hear when I put food in the pan. Alright, so these I'm not going to make like brown. I'm just going to cook them for a little while until they're uh, softer. And uh, it tastes better then. So. Uh, what I'm going to be doing to them is uh, called sweating. So basically I'm taking out the juices, making them softer, and uh, yeah. I'm going to turn down my heat a little bit because I don't want them to burn. The other stuff I was trying to like kind of burn it because that's what you do when you caramelize it. It turns uh, brown. And a couple pieces burn, but that's because it's like whatever. Still tastes good. Still gonna taste awesome. So I'm just gonna leave this peppers here. And uh, yeah, you'll see them in a couple minutes all done. In any case. So this is the last part of the video, basically, before I put it all together. Just turn back on my flame really quick. It's probably like, why do you keep on turning off your flame? You cheating? No, I just like turning it off after I'm done. Um, so basically, I will be doing all these beautiful steakums. If you don't know what steakums are, basically square versions of beef. And uh, yeah, they taste really good. Uh, I think they're pretty good for you. I don't know. I don't really... I looked at the ingredients and it said beef. So it seems pretty simple. I'm just going to break them up. I've had these out for about half an hour or 40 minutes. So they're going to fall apart pretty easily. But I want to break them up either in the pan or before I put them in. I'm probably going to just do it in the pan. Yeah, it's going to smoke a little bit because they do have oil in there and it um, has a little bit of water from being frozen. You can tell some pieces are still frozen, but most of them will just break apart pretty easily because they have been out for, I believe, about 40 minutes now I've been doing this video. So, yeah. I know, it's like, I, I cook for 40 minutes and you guys see like, you see the whole thing in like 10, 12 minutes and you guys are like, whoa, that was fast. And it takes me almost like an hour to do every meal. So that's okay. I like doing meals. I like eating good food for dinner. This is considered good food, I guess. Um, it's probably a faster meal of mine. Um, I don't really cook this type of food that's like really greasy and stuff too often. But I decided, eh, I don't really feel like eating pasta again. I had it last night during the Super Bowl. And, uh, so I'm just gonna make myself some pepper steak. And I'm like, uh, oh, wait, I don't have steak. So I got these steak ones out of the freezer. Uh, looks like got some peppers, found, uh, found an onion. Bam! I have an awesome video for you guys of uh, Philly cheesesteaks. Now this was six steakums. An entire box I put in here. Does not look like a lot, doesn't it guys? Well, like I think I told you before, I don't have any, uh, what's this called? Yellow American cheese. 
So I am going to have to be using some mozzarella instead. I know some people who are from Philly are going to be like, oh, you're, you're screwing it up, that's not right. Although they probably do use the yellow American, uh, the white American. So mozzarella is the closest thing I have to that in my house. So this cooks really fast, the steak on. That's why when you go to the places and they're like, yo, you want a Philly cheesesteak? They make it in like two minutes because they have the onions all caramelized beautifully. And they have the uh, peppers all ready, basically. Just got to put them in for like two more minutes. They is what you do in the restaurant. And, um, yeah. So basically, your Philly cheesesteak will be done in like five minutes or less. <laughs> if you go to like a place. But I have to do all the cutting and cooking of everything. And the onions are the thing that takes the most time. They took about 15 minutes to cook fully. And that was at like a high heat, so yeah. And right, guys, this is basically done. I will see you in about, I don't know, five seconds in video time of uh, to show you guys how I put this together to make it an awesome, awesome cheesesteak. Alright okay, guys? So, see you in like 10 seconds. Okay, so I'm gonna get rid of this because I'm not using it. But, um, so let us put together the sandwich. I have my beautiful meat, peppers, and onions in here. My beautiful bread with cheese on it, which is still hot right there. So let's a nice glob of this. Spread it all nicely onto here. Some peppers. The side stuff. Put it on here. I just realized I put the top on the bottom, and now I'm gonna put the bottom on the top. So, whatever, guys. It'll work out. Always does. I'm wearing another Air Force style shirt. It's not the same one from the last video, trust me. That's in the wash. But, so, this is my sandwich. I don't want to squish it, but I like to do that to my sandwiches. So I'm going to try this. This is a really good Philly cheese steak. Only thing it's missing is yellow American cheese, but I could live without it. So yeah. Mmm. It's falling all apart. Oh well. Alright guys. Peace out. Have fun. Live life to the fullest. Coffee Dion. Yeah.